Okay, so here I got this short fly screen that I'm gonna put on the bike. And in the box, it comes with, obviously, the fly screen. Nice, shiny, dark tinted plastic. Uh, it also comes with this front plate, which they call the embellisher. Sounds more like a superhero name. Uh, we get these two brackets, a couple bolts, these four rubber grommets, four of these flanged inserts, and four of these smaller mounting bolts. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is mount these brackets. And what you can see, this one goes behind the uh, headlight bolt and this one goes behind the turn signal, the indicator. There's a little notch right there. So if you have the stock turn signals, indicators, it would wire through and then you can see that there is this little pin that it would line up to and fit into place and that would keep the indicator aligned correctly. Now these, these don't have a pin on these ones so I don't have to worry about that. For me, there's one thing I just don't understand in, the dis in this design. In order to do this and in the instructions, you have to disconnect the battery, you have to take off the headlight completely, you have to undo the indicator unplug the wiring, pull all the wiring out so you can run the wire back through here and then put it back on. To me, that just seems like a lot of unnecessary steps. I don't understand why you can't just cut straight through here. So all you have to do is loosen the indicator and slip the wire through and then put it back on. Anyone knows why they designed it this way? It seems to overcomplicate it. And that way, if I ever want to remove the fly screen, put it back on, it's a matter of just removing one bolt and loosening the indicators rather than having to take everything apart. just a 12 millimeter it comes off pretty 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 easy and then you just need to get this bolt holding on the indicator so now I just simply pull out the indicator light and with the bracket that just fits right over it like that that comes in like that. And I should be able to just reconnect everything now without actually ever having to take any of the headlight off, undo the battery, anything like that. And then just slide this back through and connect it up. All right, now we just gotta put these rubber grommets into each of the holes. And then we have these metal flanges, that I think go on this side. And then, the embellisher goes over. I believe that's how it works. And then we have these four bolts that will connect to the brackets. All right, I think I have these the right direction. If not, someone please let me know. But from here, it should be just a matter
All right, let's tighten down. That's all nice and tight. Tight on. Looks good.